all right yo what is good with y'all i feel like i almost have to make a new class tier list after that massive balance patch from uh yesterday or the day before and let's just get into it we got assassin um assassin's looking kind of mid right now bro assassin is looking kind of mid right now i'm not gonna put it in no c or d but i'm gonna put it in like b it's not looking too good for assassin right now it's not really that great against metrom's vessel anymore um the dot damage is still there it's still good you know what i mean it's b the lawn assassin dot with crit is still going to be really good but it's not really meta anymore you know what i mean it's not really the best choice for metron vessel anymore and honestly listen bro they nerfed berserker don't get me wrong but it's still an s <laughs> i'm gonna keep it as fact with six energy carnage with your damage buffs and everything you're still doing insane damage you're still one shotting corrupted yarthu you're still one shotting a lot of things but that one to two energy carnage nerf the base uh, requirement for Carnage is now 2 energy, you can no longer farm with it. Therefore, I'll put it in like mid-low S instead of uh, top of S, you know what I mean? Um, I'm not too sure on Blade Dancer, but I'm hearing that it's like really good right now. I'm gonna put it in low S, I was gonna put it in high A, but I've heard it's doing like some insane damage with that 1.4 to 1.8 damage buff on um, Flowing Dance. And then Impaling Strike also got upped in damage by a lot. It's, I think it might be one of the highest base damage moves in the game right now. And that just sounds really good. I'm pretty sure it's going to be like low S right now for sure. Brawler. Brawler is still pretty mid. I'll put it below Assassin and B. Um, it's Brawler. Like it's pretty good. They didn't do anything to, in it to the... They didn't do anything to it in this update. You can just go like Lentum Brawler debuff. Get some good buffs in uh buff yourself up and do good damage i mean like that's what brawler has always been like i don't think it's gonna get changed i don't know um dark wraith was probably in d before but i'll actually put dark wraith in like a solid high uh, not high b i'll put it like it's kind of hard should i put it above no i'll put it i'll put it below brawler i'll put it low b actually i might i might even put it high c i think i'll put it high c the buffs weren't too crazy i mean all they really did is they just made um the dark be slightly better and they upped the damage scaling by 0.2 damage i don't think it was enough i think they could have buffed it a little bit more i mean it is better it went from d to c that's still it's it's better you know what i mean it's significantly better but it's not that good elementalist is still gonna be a i mean dude the nerf they gave it was that even really a nerf dude like what that was they did like a 10 percent damage nerf on one of the useless masteries i mean it might have been a good master i don't really know but I'll still put it in A. It's a solid A tier. High A. Like, Elementalist should be at high A. I feel like it's just such a high A class. It's so good. It has so much versatility. It can debuff a lot. It, it's just really good. It does good damage. Like, it's a good class. Use Stellion score with it, by the way. Hexer got buffed. And it's... I think it's still in D tier. I'm saying it, bro. Like, energy cost reductions? That's all they did. All they did was give it energy cost reductions really i mean i don't think energy cost reductions were really the problem i mean it's still a buff right it's pretty it's like it got better but it's still trash it's still gonna be like high d mid d because like they they nerfed um abyss anchor cost reduction and dark glare cost from two to one and abyss anchor from three to two we need we need cooldown reductions we need higher damage on dark glare we don't really need just energy cost reductions impaler i'm gonna put it in a for now i've heard it's pretty damn good right now it might even be better than elementalist i'm not too sure but i've heard it's pretty damn good right now i mean those buffs were significant dude they made it um the passive you get 300 percent more damage at your lowest hp instead of 220 percent they upped all of the moves scaling by a significant amount so it should be significantly better but i don't know if it's better than elementalist right now i it could be interchangeable I'm, I'm just saying but it's definitely not s that's one thing i can tell you for sure all right lancer didn't really get changed lancer is still kind of mid i'll put it low b uh it can do pretty crazy damage with like the right setup but what can't do crazy damage with the right setup right monk got a very slight buff they made it so that the flame drop proficiency mastery um it now applies burn to adjacent enemies which kind of lands it in the same spot in B. I'll put it like above Lancer. Lancer, the only reason Lancer is always in like low B, by the way, is because um 
it just gets, it just gets outshined by Paladin. Like it's just not as good as Paladin. You can dodge and heal and whatever. Like dude, Paladin just does it better. Um, but yeah, Monk is pretty damn good. Monk has always been pretty damn good against Thorian and everything like that. So I'll just put it in like somewhat B, like you know mid B. Necro now Necro got some pretty huge buffs I've seen. Like some pretty huge buffs. I I would even put it above Dark Wraith and C. High C. It still doesn't really do damage. Like as a class, it doesn't really do damage. You're still just like a sustaining class, but now it's even more self-sustaining than it was before. Paladin, it's it's still an S, dude. Come on, come on, it's Paladin. I might be enticed to put it in like low S though. It didn't really get any nerfs, but in terms of like the meta right now, bringing a Paladin isn't really necessary to any of the bosses, so it's becoming less and less necessary when they buff these other classes and buff their DPS up. It becomes less and less necessary to bring a Paladin, but Paladin's still great. You still regen a crazy amount. You still um, can take aggro. You can still apply hella debuffs with Lentum. You can just you can do so much with Paladin while being essentially unkillable. Um, let's move on to Rogue. Rogue is I don't know where I put it last. I, I probably put it in like A, like around A, because dude, it's the farming class, the race. Um, Venary with Rogue is so insane. I made a video on it. You can make like what? 25k money and like 20 minutes of afk farm completely afk if you're using like alluring elixirs you'll probably make 25k in like eight minutes you can make so much money so much farming so quickly i mean it's it's it can still solo yarthul and maybe thorian maybe that's a big maybe but what i'm trying to say is like for its niche for farming it's the, it's easily the best class in the game you know what i mean there's no comparison at all Back then, um, Berserker might have been comparable because of Carnage. You could just Carnage first turn, but they nerfed that. So now Rogue is the undisputed king once again. All right, now let's just move to Saint. Saint didn't really get changed either. Uh, I'll put it in like A, like uh, like high A. Uh, and I'll put it like right here, like in mid A, mid high A. I mean, let's keep it a stack, bro. Saint is the only healing class, you know, like bring it to like Yarthul, you're basically your party's basically unkillable i mean for its niche once again it's the best class in the game by default it used to be op until they nerfed Narthena sigil i know y'all remember that but yeah saint is pretty damn good right now um as is like all the other stuff in a and above i'm kind of disappointed that hexer is still kind of mid <laughs> like i mean not mid it's really bad it's probably the worst class in the game still i mean listen just make Abyss Anger stun Metrom's Vessel. Is it really that bad? It stuns for three turns, right? Metrom's Vessel attacks like three turns in a row sometimes. So he's just out of stun instantly. It's not even like it's that crazy. You know what I mean? Dark Wraith still needs some scaling buffs, still needs some buffs to his Dark Beast in my opinion. Necromancer, bro, the change that they, it got, it just increases the healing for its summons. But if you guard with the summons, they instantly die anyway. I saw this clip of this dude's skeleton, I mean slime, dying with 500 HP to one hellfire from Yarthul. Like, what? What is that, bro? Alright, but whatever. I'm talking too much. This is the tier list. Um, I'll see you on the next one, and have a good day, bro.